Day two, people. Day two. Kind of reminds me of Firewatch, to be honest. The conversation going back and forth. Morning. Good morning, Nicole. <sighs> Get any sleep? Suddenly, I'll go like a rock. Yeah, let's just say that. I slept like a rock. I forgot my bed was so comfy. <sighs> so, any news? Uh, uh, what? Is it better? Is the situation on the roads any better? Just uh, give me a sec to get it together. Maybe I need some coffee. I didn't get any shot eye last night, and wait, you didn't sleep, like, at all? I thought you might need something, and but I, you didn't go home because of me. I'm a workaholic. I don't have a choice right here. Dot dot dot. So, uh, meteorologists are predicting a peak real soon, probably tonight. Uh, you can't move, not just yet. In theory, uh, what do you want to do? Um, better off thinking about primary needs. <sighs> I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat first, then I'll think about it. It's time for you to take a tour of the pantry. I have to survive, I could eat a horse, sure. Deal. I could eat a horse right now. The baked beans will be scrumptious. Alright, where's the kitchen? Kitchen area. Still, I wish it tells me where am I. That'd be a lot easier. Nicole? Irving. Uh, how long has it been since someone's inspected the pantry? Inspected? You mean stocked? I just like to know if I should choose between malnutrition and food poisoning. There'll be tons of things to eat. Hmm. Oh, definitely no mice or roaches. Pretty sure about that. I was thinking more like mold, bacteria, and such. Uh, you'll see. There's nothing to worry about. I had an ant farm? Okay. For a while I had an ant farm in the closet. I think Leonard suggested it. One morning my bed was swarming with ants. You must have freaked out. My mother did. The ant farm ended up straight in the trash. Your career as an entomologist nipped in the bud. Didn't think I still remembered all these little things. Huh. Alright, I found the pantry and of course moldy food. There's some food, but it looks moldy. Weird. I didn't expect that. Uh, there's a freezer. Take a look there. Okay. Um, freezer, freezer. Some fridges. Yeah, where's the freezer? Yeah, there it is. Oh, that's cold. Hopefully I don't get locked in. Wow, you can actually read it. Protein 10, vitamin A and C, none. Talamin. Calcium is 30. Iron is 30. I like the details. Really, you can actually read them. Some the instructions on how to. See, I figured that we're gonna get locked in. This is actually kind of creeping me out right now. Hey, you kidding? So this is where the horror starts and I'm getting creeping out right now and there's gonna be something popping out that window. Oh. Oh, uh, I almost
almost forgot. There might be a problem with the fridge door. Just make sure it doesn't close. Are you close. fucking with me? No. Wait, what did I say? It would have been more useful to know that before I got locked in. Oh, holy shit. I'm a freaking space cadet. Yeah. I could have died in there. That kind of creeped me out a little bit. Yeah, the choice option was a bit going too fast that I just picked the first one. Okay, what am I supposed to do? Oh, microwave the food. Okay, where's the microwave in this kitchen? There we go. She's microwaving the can. Put in a bowl or something. I guess we just wait right now. She ate her lunch just right here. Uh huh. Sorry to interrupt your continental breakfast. Uh, I got a hold of Mr. Jenkins, the attorney. When's he getting here? About time. When's he getting here? He tried to make it. His car ended up in a ditch between York Road and Valley. Oh, come on. He called 911 after just a mile. I'm just gonna hole up in my room and cry, if that's okay with you. I can't imagine that. He asked me to give you a message. Here it is. He says to... Hmm. This is a swear word and you don't need to hear it. Uh, yeah. Uh, Nicole, at this point, start assessing the general conditions of the hotel on your own. Uh, jot down what you want to keep. I recommend you start with the second floor. It's surely the most damaged. Please, only call me if you've got good news. Bad news seems to happen all the time in this game. Irving suggests to inspect the second floor first. I'm already creeped out by this already. Like, see, some of the lights that we turn off. So, something is about to happen. Which I am really afraid right now. There's some serious water stains on the second floor. That floor is pretty run down. There's some windows missing and water damage too. Yeah. I mean, this hotel must be old and badly functioned. Just mole. Everywhere is mole. From what I can see, I can't rule out serious damage. Refurbishment was scheduled, but they never finished. How great. See, there you go. More mold. Looks like everything's about to fall apart up here. I doubt that. Rest easy. If you say so. I'm really sorry, but some sounds are scaring me just now. It's a really weird sound. Of course, the sealed door. Here I am. Uh, what's up? The hallway on the second floor is cut off. The door to the west wing is locked. Your father started renovations, but he didn't get the bank loan and had to stop. Leonard's attic is at the end of the hallway. His man cave. Does that... mean something to you? I tried so hard to forget about that room for years. Anyway, uh, the West Wing is pretty run down after all this time with no windows. Hello? Are you there? You always have an answer to everything. What do you mean? Tell me something. What are you hiding from me? I don't understand, Nicole. You know how to turn on the furnace. You know where to find food and that the fridge door is busted. You know my family's story and the hotels. It's up to FEMA to deliver the supplies to isolated places like the Timberline. 
I've been up there with the truck every month since I've been on duty. Is something wrong? How should I have known that, huh? I don't know. I, I don't know what you know and what you don't know. Uh, what difference does it make? None. I... I'm sorry if I upset you. No one can upset me. I better keep doing the inspection. Who is calling? It's kind of creepy. Yeah? Hello? Who is this? Who are you? I can't understand. I can't understand from the subtitles. Who the hell are you? Rachel is still there. Don't sell the hotel. Is this a joke? Who is this? Don't do anything stupid. F you. What? You think you can call my house and threaten me? Come tell me to my face, asshole! I'm actually creeped out right now. Rachel is still there. By the way, I like the detail they did right there when they answer the phone. They just like flip the switch. Wish we can see the hand motion right there. Rachel is still there. Oh no. You pissed at me? Yeah, I got a different problem. I don't have time to rehash my past with you. I've got a different problem. Someone just called the hotel. What? Who? No idea, secret Mario. <laughs> no idea. It, it was a bad connection. W what did they want? They said, Rachel is alive. Don't sell the hotel. <sighs> Idiot. There's something else that doesn't make sense. The phone lines are down. Leonard stopped paying the bill months ago. I'll ask someone to run a check. They break my balls. <laughs> Can you do that? I didn't know FEMA had FBI authority. Around these parts, time passes in a different way. Some stories seem like they've been forgotten, but actually they just sink down. Sink down? Like tea leaves in a cup. Okay. I think I get it. Almost. That girl's death. Rachel. It was the result of painful events, and now it's someone's obsession. You talking about anyone in particular? Well, her death ruined two families that everyone looked up to. Yours and Rachel's. Your father, McGrath, the genius astrophysicist. And Rachel's father, the upstanding Reverend Foster, known all over the county. <laughs> Not something easy to forget around here. You know what I think? They can go get fucked, every one of them. I know what we went through. No one else. Fuck them. <laughs> the way she said that.